Hello everybody and welcome back. Today we'll talk about hydrotropism. As we have mentioned before, that tropism is a curvature which takes place in the growth of the plant, either it was in the stem or in the roots, due to the different distribution of the external uh, conditions or stimuli on some sides of the plant than the other sides. So, hydrotropism is related to water. So this occurs due to the different distribution of water around the different sides of the plant. So if a plumule was growing in a baker and this baker was containing soil and the soil was moisturized with water, the water was equally distributed in the soil. So there is water everywhere. What will happen is that the uh, plumule will grow normally. So that the stem will grow upwards and the root will grow downwards. But if um, water was only, say, it was only found in the corners in here. So what will happen? If water was found at that corner, the root will grow like this. It will go to the area where water is found. And this doesn't contradict with the gravity field because the root is already growing downwards, but it, it's going for search in search of water. And the stem will grow in the opposite direction like that. And if water was found at that corner, the stem will grow to the direction of water and the stem will grow in the opposite direction. So this uh, curvature or tropism is caused due to the uh, auxins or the plant hormones, just the same case as in uh, phototropism or geotropism. For the length of phototropism, click here, and for the length for geotropism, click here. So the auxins affect the uh, way of the growth of the plant. So the accumulation of auxins in the uh, roots inhibit the growth of this side and elongate the other side so that the curvature takes uh, this shape, or in this case, the uh, concentration of auxins will be uh, more on that side. So it will in, uh, decrease the grass of this side and increase the grass of that side so that the curvature takes uh, place towards water and vice versa in the stem. At the place where the auxins are most concentrated, the grass is induced while it's inhibited on the other side. So the curvature takes this place, this shape, or this shape. So this is it for today and the next time we will talk about the nervous system in human. We will begin talking about the nervous and hormonal coordination and until then thank you for watching and see you.